New tonight, parents and students of Crosstown High School packed the gymnasium looking for answers after rumors of change leadership, uncertified teachers, and a cohort learning system that did not seem to be working. The charter school just opened last year. Local 24 News weekend anchor Annette Pegler, Pegler live at Crosstown High School, and that's to break down their concerns. Annette, what did you find out? Well, Katina, I spoke to Principal Alexis Gwen Miller on the phone this evening, and she did not confirm or deny if she was let go. But Crosstown High School Executive Director told me today at that meeting that he's changing the traditional leadership structure of this school, and that didn't sit too well with parents, and they packed this gym looking for some answers. Principals aren't like socks in a dryer. You don't just lose them. I mean, there need to be some answers, and we need to be on stable ground. Quincy Young is one of dozens of parents who packed Crosstown High School tonight, wanting an explanation as to the number of changes recently happening at the school that do not just include leadership. There were some concerns about whether or not some of the classes and or instructors had all the correct credentials for, they to be, for the um, classes to count towards their high school credit. The school is one of 19 XQ super schools, which was an open call to rethink and redesign the American high school. In the fall of 2015, 70 Memphis parents, educators, and students created ideas to make Crosstown an innovative new high school. But some parents say right now it's missing the mark. Chris Terrell, the school's executive director, candidly addressed those issues. We're willing to make adjustments, we're willing to make changes, or we're willing to scrap it all together and start over if that's what it takes. But some parents are hoping for the best and say this meeting is a good start. I've reviewed the, the rough ideas of them and I personally feel they're more than reasonable and they've showed great progress in a short amount of time. Now the goal is to add one class each year to Crosstown so that it will eventually be a ninth through 12th grade school. Uh, Chris Terrell tells me today that he just wants parents to be patient. He also encourages any parents with uh, questions to reach out to him so that he can make this transition a little more smoother. Reporting live from Crosstown, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.